Well, okay, now, I've been sitting here reading on the internet for the September the 2nd, 2022, about presidential elections and drinking heavily a really good gin called Roku with some Walmart brand Diet Seltzer, which is a good combo. A little bit of bitter splashed in and some lime. But anyway, <clears throat> I am reading up on like presidential candidate things. Mostly because I think Donald Trump is a dipshit who has destroyed the gravitas of the position. While being perfectly honest, where the fags on the other side, who, which, you know, I'll take a, as much as the next guy who's forced to, but yeah, there's no gravitas and in severity into what we're actually dealing with. We are dealing with severe things. We're dealing with the threat of nuclear war. We're dealing with the threat of climate change. We're dealing with many, many problems. And yet, nobody has some balls to actually act like a real fucking man. I'm sorry. It bothers me. Uh, I must be a stupid Pollock. But, you know... We can do better. And so I will announce my presidency bid, which, you know, maybe I'll get five votes that I can think of, but I'm going to try. You know, I don't care if they kill me or mine at this point. You know, mine are pretty skilled. And we'll be, we should do all right. I don't care if we don't achieve all our goals because, you know, it, getting some of it should be good. I think national policy shouldn't be one of supremacy but equity. I have a lot of feelings about this and I'm getting more and more political. And I'm just a stupid civil servant who will probably get fired for espousing my true opinions on things like gender or race or other political ideologies and political identity bullshit. <sighs> but, you know, I might as well try. I'll throw my hat in. I get my own vote and nothing else. It doesn't matter. I think... The world has lost some reason. Maybe I captured enough from Montesquieu and whatever when I was walking down the nine blocks to my library from my house when I was a child. It, to read these things and to learn these things. And I don't think people are learning these things and it breaks my heart. I think America had some greatness that we didn't really espouse. We had libraries. We had the fire departments. We had uh, just a care that, you know, you were working in the factory that supplied some copper to, you know, go over the river to go to the fucking plant that made the picric acid that made the fucking bombs that were being lobbed off in World War One. And somewhere between World War One and World War Two, we lost it. And you know, we won World War Two, but uh, yeah, you know, we're losing World War Three. And nuclear weapons aren't an answer. And causing problems for the planet is not an answer. Causing any kind of chaos like that is not the answer. We can be better. People who are weak need help. 
stop. Yeah. And some probably shouldn't be making extra babies. So eugenics had that that part right, probably. Um, and maybe the Enviro fucking, yeah, let's get everybody sterilized because they're trans. People have that right. Because it might be better for the environment. And let's say that. And let's say that whether we're standing in church or we're just hanging out. Let's have the honest answers for all the data. For all these people who are trying to cloud us 100%. And there's the Bullworth thing that bothers me too. Like I spent about four hours on a mushroom trip one evening in Kuwait while I was working for the U.S. government in Kuwait, supporting our efforts over there, which I still believe in because those people are fucked. The people in the Middle East, they are fucked without us because they have not dealt with their interpersonal issues but as far as my pontificating goes this is probably the most far out shit I've ever thrown out there and that is this we can do better as people as a species as everything we can make this world a better place at every instance I've got a picture of families on the wall and an Indian plate that used to be served with piles of rice on it with a little sauce in the middle and good things. I have baskets that I have woven and I have not. I have bowls I have carved. I have books, most of which I have read. I don't know if you'll get at any of those. <clears throat> the point being is this. We can do better. We can all strive to do better every day. And honestly, I'll take the shit. I'll take the risk if I can encourage all of y'all to do better. Sorry. I'm a fucktard. I raped a couple and did this and that and the other and done some bad, bad things and set some fires and I've done... I'm not a nice person, mate. Yeah, I still graduated, like, you know, top four at the time, university at the time. My point is this. We can all do better on this planet. I don't care if you're the CCP thinking you can grab Taiwan or make the Tibetans do a little more, the Uyghurs are going to stop being Uyghurs, which is not going to happen. And be honest with yourselves, and let's do these things. Let's make the planet a better place. Let's give Elon Musk like a couple billion just to like fire some shit that's going to explode. Why not? Right? Though I do like the SLS, and it hasn't fired off... As of 11.01 p.m. 9.02.2022. But, you know, the SLS was a good idea. And let's just, like, pop some, you know, propulsion out there just to have sitting in orbit where nobody from any country has any authority over. And let's let the best of the best succeed. I'm doing my best. And I want y'all to do your best. And, you know, if I'm a complete fucktard, I'll stay in a debate and let you mock me. I'll let you pull your dick out and my dick out and we can stand there side by side and see who's bigger. The point is... Stop fucking around. And let's try it. So yes, I'm announcing my candidacy for President of the United States for 2024. Yeah. I used to go to Trump's hotels as a child. 
Uh, I've seen him. I've met him when he's right, going by, shaking hands, and thank you for coming to Trump, Trump Castle. Yeah, you know, and they had great lobster buffets at Trump Castle. And we used to, I used to go to video games while my parents were playing, like, <laughs> wasting money in slots. You know, if they weren't very bright in the ways that you would think, but they were beautiful people. Anyway. He's a bullshit artist, and my bullshit's a different kind of bullshit, but we'll deal with that. I don't care if you're black, white, or Asian, maybe we'll get the Harvard alignment straight as far as who gets in, and, you know, maybe we'll get the, you know... HBC ratio is correct for who needs some college, no matter what. And maybe we'll get the prison situation sorted out when we get the drug war sorted out. And maybe I'll get the smartest people in the country addicted to coke, which would be the most productive thing ever. You know, let's get, like, every fucking, like, doctorate at a Princeton lit on coke and then say, hey, this is where we need to go. Uh, maybe we might beat the AIs. Somehow. But this is my thoughts. And I'm uh, I'm going to be pretty clear with it. And I'll be consistent through an actual campaign. And, you know, some probably dumbass fucking Hillary Clinton hire will assassinate me in the middle of a field somewhere. Oh, he was in the middle of a horse field. And, da -da -da -da, and he had a... Da -da -da. Yeah. But... Because those people are fucked. But, anyway. Happy September 2nd, 2022. Cheers.